Hey everybody, this is Max Velocity, back with your latest weather forecast, and in today's forecast, we have a lot to talk about, including the severe weather mayhem that's going to continue across the United States through Memorial Day weekend, a massive heat wave that is going nowhere, and as well as a system off the coast of the Carolinas that could bring tropical storm impacts over the next 48 hours. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll first begin with the Great Plains. This is a region that we've seen tornadoes, damaging winds, and hail for the past several days, especially across the High Plains. And you'll notice there's actually still some convection today that is still ongoing from storms that happened literally last night. You'll notice back over in Central Texas right now, there is a weakening complex of storms. This is really just weakening out now. There's just some showers, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder. But really impressive that this is still ongoing from last night, from all the storm activity that's been bubbling up, especially across New Mexico and Colorado. That's where all this activity is originating from. Now, back in the Midwest, nothing's really going on there. We still have a high pressure system that is going to continue to dominate that region. Highly unlikely that we'll see really any rain this Memorial Day weekend, unless you're in the Ohio Valley. There might be some showers and storms, and that's all coming from a low pressure system that's actually about to make landfall near Georgia and South Carolina. This is not tropical yet, but it is going to bring some tropical like impacts, including some beach erosion, higher waves, as well as rip currents and some gusty winds to the coastline upwards of 40 to 50 miles per hour and also some flooding is not out of the question some areas could actually see upwards of five to six inches of rain when this is all said and done but it does look like a tropical system down there it has some spin there obviously it is not a tropical system though as of right now and it's not expected to this weekend now, the severe weather mayhem has no end in sight right now in the United States. It continues to unravel across anywhere from Montana back through Texas. This is high plains insanity right now in the United States. And we keep seeing tornadoes, damaging winds, and hail in this area. And we're going to continue to see that for the next several days. So right now, the Storm Prediction Center for today has issued a fairly large marginal risk of severe weather. You might notice if you've been watching my previous forecast, this is like the same exact area that has been seeing severe weather for the last several days. And this is going to continue for the next few days as well right now there are a couple of slight risks of severe weather this is where we could see an increased threat of large hail and maybe a couple tornadoes as well throughout the day today and as well as into the evening and maybe even into the overnight hours for some areas overall the hail threat there is a hatched area back down into west texas and eastern new mexico near the grady new mexico area this is an area that we saw a strong tornado the other day and we're going to possibly see another one of those threats later today in those areas make sure you have multiple ways to receive alerts but that's where we could see the hail potential upwards of three inches in diameter for the damaging wind threat flying trampolines is a low risk for today but for right now there are a couple of areas to watch for closely for an increased threat of damaging winds one of which is going to be back near lubbock and amarillo and the other one back into areas in the northern high plains that's going to go through areas in western south dakota and as well as into western nebraska and parts of wyoming tornado risk overall today not too concerning but there might be an isolated tornado or two best chance for that will be back into eastern new mexico and western texas might be a couple actually back up in into Colorado and as well as into western Nebraska so again have multiple ways to receive alerts and have a tornado action plan in place just in case there is any sort of tornadic activity later today let's go through the timing hour by hour beginning with around two o'clock this afternoon mountain time that is when showers and storms will start to fire up across eastern new mexico this will be west of clovis large hail is the main concern initially we might see an increased tornado threat this afternoon once these storms enter a bit more of a favorable environment with a little bit more shear available back near clovis new mexico and as well as west of amarillo so be on alert in those areas right around four to five o'clock and then heading into the evening showers and storms will move into western texas which takes us to our next next area which is in western texas so for those in amarillo there will be a chance for an isolated storm or two this afternoon this will primarily just be a large hail and damaging wind threat and then eventually going into the evening we'll have a cluster of storms move through damaging winds is the main concern with this if any storms are strong enough there could still be some upwards of you know half dollar or ping pong ball sized hail eventually going closer to 10 to 11 o'clock storms will start to collapse down to the south showers and storms may be possible in central texas so for those in abilene be on alert but overall severe weather is not anticipated at this time for those in the hill country another area to watch for this afternoon there might be a couple of isolated discrete cells that pop up these would primarily just be comprised of large hail and damaging winds and then a line of storms will start to push through areas in uh, the hill country so midland and big spring this will be mainly damaging winds as well and then this will eventually move off to the east and weaken out during the overnight hours due to a loss of daylight
satellite heating. Now, the severe weather mayhem, again, does not end anytime soon. We have another threat of severe weather almost in the same exact area as the past four to five days. It's unbelievable, but this will be shifting slightly to the east. Overall, the main threat of severe weather for tomorrow will be across areas in Kansas and as well as in the Texas Panhandle. So not really any major changes from the previous forecast, but overall, we could see severe weather spanning from North Dakota all the way back through the hill country of Texas. Damaging winds in large hail is the main concern. However, there could be an isolated tornado as well. That tornado threat is primarily going to be back up in the Texas Panhandle and as well as into Southwest Kansas. Now for the timing tomorrow, we'll begin with tomorrow morning. Showers and storms not expected during the morning. So if you have any barbecue plans for whatever reason in the very early morning, there will not be any issues across Texas or the Southern Plains. Storms will quickly fire up though during the afternoon. We have a lot of humidity. So really any initiators that can initiate these showers and storms will be able to see storms across a large chunk of the Southern Plains. So you'll see by around three to four o'clock tomorrow, showers and storms will be developing. We could actually see a low chance for severe weather in North Texas with maybe some large hail or damaging wind gusts. Eventually going into the evening hours, showers and storms will be back over into West Texas and as well as back through the Central Plains. Again, this will be the area that is a bit more concerned. So any storms that develop back over in West Texas have a slightly higher chance of severe weather in comparison to like North Texas, for example. Going into the overnight hours, this area of storms will start to weaken out. We might still see some storm activity near Abilene or Central Texas by Monday morning, but overall, again, severe weather not expected at this time. Now, this might shock you. There is really not much of a threat of severe weather for Monday, which is obviously great. Memorial Day Monday looks to be better across the United States in terms of the severe weather threat. However, showers and storms are still possible across a large area. You'll notice anywhere in these green shaded regions, by the way, these are areas that we actually could still see some showers and storms. So be on alert for Memorial Day. If you're anywhere in those green areas, just be on alert. Severe weather probably not going to happen, but there could at least be a couple of showers and storms out there. But the only threat of severe weather right now is in the Dakotas, and that's mainly for some large hail and damaging winds. Now, for your Memorial Day, temperatures across the United States will be quite warm, especially in the Midwest where that heat wave continues. But you'll notice a little gap back over in the Mid-Atlantic region. That's where temperatures will be slightly below average for Memorial Day because of that low pressure system. But overall, temperatures across a large chunk of the country will be in the mid to upper 80s. Could see a couple of areas flirt around 90 back into Louisiana. And then back over into the Northeast, pretty warm up there as well. Temperatures in the 70s and potentially a few low 80s. Now, for the showers and storms for really late Sunday. There will be some showers and storms across the Great Plains. That's a given because of that severe weather threat. You'll notice back over in the mid-Atlantic region, that is where showers and storms will continue. Once we go into Memorial Day Monday, overall, the main areas to watch for for shower and storm activity will be in the Southern Plains, will be in the Northern Plains. There might be a little bit of activity in the Central Plains, but overall, that'll be very isolated storm activity, so still be on alert. And then back over in the mid-Atlantic region, that is where showers and storms will continue. However, they will become a bit more scattered in comparison to what we'll see this weekend. Overall, just stay on alert. There will probably at least be some rain out there, but overall severe weather, again, not expected at this time. Now, if you want a better look at where we actually could see rain, this is the rainfall accumulation map for Monday. And overall, the main areas to watch for for some showers and storms will again be across the Great Plains. We could see a little bit back over into the western half of the United States, but mostly isolated activity. And again, the main area that we're watching for some showers and storms will be back over in the mid-Atlantic. And that is all associated with that non-tropical system as of right now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting.